Leave any um, short but alterating tips in the below. Wow, that was a sentence. Hello, and welcome to my channel, Haley Marie Vintage. Today, I have a really fun sewing pile for you guys. Super excited about these. Uh, these have been all the sewing projects I've been working on off camera since I actually believe November. I've been kind of slower since I've been posting once a month sewing videos for you guys. So let's real quick kind of start diving in. There's a big mix of winter, spring, summer, the whole shebang in here. Um, first up is this winter skirt. I feel fairly mixed about this. So it is lined with cotton because this wool polyester mix is kind of itchy. I don't know if you can tell, but it has some sparkle to it. It's pretty. I don't know how much I love the cut of the skirt on me, honestly, so I don't know. I'm contemplating whether I'll really keep it all around for very long. So I guess we'll see, um, and I will let you know because you'll see it in the closet cleanout video. But yeah, I don't know. It's, it's kind of a little stiff. It's pretty heavy. It's pretty warm. However, I didn't like... I didn't go places last year during fall and winter, so it might be fine. Um, I don't know, but this is the piece. Um, I don't know, there's not really much to say about it. It's a simple four panel A-line skirt. And then next up, we have another winter piece. Uh, so this is a suit. I really think this is very cute. I hated it when I finished it. Um, I'll show you the skirt in a second. But when I finished it, I did not like this at all. However, it has really grown on me and I kind of like it now. Um, so this is the top. It's like a little short sleeve wool blouse. This is, again is pretty warm. This would be a winter piece. Um, and then let me show you the skirt. Uh, so this is really interesting. It features pleating details on, I'm not pleating, um, dart details that are on the outside of the skirt, which I think is interesting. I don't know if you can see these little like flappy guys here. And then it features like some clusters of three buttons. Uh, I didn't love this pattern, but it has grown on me, like I said. The other thing is, is I chose this old zipper. It's an old like 1940 zipper and it doesn't work the best. So we're not really have a functional piece again right now. Um, I know it's that basically I have to zip it really carefully every time I zip it, which is not very functional for going out or going to the bathroom. So I need to do a little bit of editing on this guy. However, I do think it's cute. Uh, I think like I didn't like it to start, but I think looking at the pieces together now that I've had six months of distance, this project was really frustrating. Um, the skirt is not lined, the top was lined, um, just FYI. And both of these wool pieces were lined with a cotton. I'm um, a pretty heavy cotton. I think in the future I would use a lighter cotton even with the wool. Um, next up we have a summer piece. This is a pretty recent piece. I made this just the other weekend. It's kind of this like cross-necked halter top feeling thing. It's really cute. It does have a completely separating side zip, which is kind of new for me. Um, but yeah, I do really like this guy. I think it's super cute. There's not a ton like, like to say about it. I was super nervous about this like cross detail working out okay on the sewing machine. Um, but it did, and this was really a very fast make. It was fast to cut, it was fast to sew, um, and they have some traditional halter tops in this pattern, and I really like the fit, so I'm excited to go give those a run. Um, I don't love the peplum on this top either. I think if I was to do it in the future, I would leave it just like a normal top as opposed to peplum, but I do, I do really think this is very, very cute. Next up, we've got a pair of shorts. This was quite the trial. Um, so as you can see, these have box pleats. You'll see in the try-on, I'm not convinced the butt fits me very well, um, but I'm not quite sure how to fix it. So if any of you have how to fix butts on shorts, uh, I, I feel like it looks diaper-ish, I guess, to point out the problem. Um, I'll show you guys an, on video. I do think these are really cute. Um, I really like how they look laying flat, but I don't super love how they look on my body. <laughs> and obviously the whole point of clothes is to wear them. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, and then the other bummer is, uh, so basically this is a full functioning fly. Um, but what I didn't realize is this fly does not fit over my hips. So I had to do a full side zip all the way down to here to get this over my hips. So that was fun, but that's kind of a classic me problem. Um, I always kind of need to keep that in mind with a lot of skirts I actually have to put in longer zippers so it will get over my hips because what usually fits my hips doesn't fit my waist and what usually like vice versa. But I do think these are super cute. I love this fabric. I want these to work for me. So yeah, leave any um, short but alterating tips in the below. Wow, that was a sentence. Because uh, I'd be super curious to learn. Um, I'm really racing against the sun on this video. But we're, we're going to cruise along. 
Uh, this here, so I was super excited to finally make this one. This is a really cute watermelon border print that I picked up from Seattle Root Creative a bit ago. Um, I think this is so cute. It's perfect for summer. I also lined it with lawn, and I don't know if you can tell this, but this was just like a tad bit sheer and just putting in that extra layer made it not sheer at all. Um, I keep feeling mixed. I kind of just feel like I should make a lawn slip to wear under things as opposed to keep lining things with lawn. I feel like it would be much cheaper, um, but I do really like this. I love this. I love watermelon um, printed things. I think you've seen I did a like play suit on my channel at some point um, and I just I don't know I think watermelon prints are fun. Um, this one is I think specifically from the 90s. But yeah, I love this skirt. I'm super happy I made it and I got around to it for this summer. Next up we have a fall item or I guess winter. Um, sorry, I keep I can't decide what I want to do with my hair. Um, so this is a little jumper. Uh, it's super cute. It's made out of this fun corduroy fabric. One thing that I did screw up with this is corduroy actually has a pile like velvet does and if you cut things, you can't cut things just like loosey-goosey. You need to cut them all the same way. I did not know when I, that when I made this garment. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but basically there's a half that's a little bit lighter than the darker half because the piles are going opposite ways. I can deal. I've decided I'm okay with it because I think this is so stinking cute and I'm excited to wear it for fall. My other jumper that I made a while ago from the same pattern I've gotten lots of use of. Actually, one thing I did, I did alter. So I ended up using a different skirt pattern for this jumper um, just because I thought the other jumper, uh, the, the original skirt pattern for this guy was a gathered skirt as opposed to like a kind of more circle skirt that's like not ruched, not ruched, um, not gathered at the top. The other one is like a really gathered skirt. And for a corduroy, it would be best not to gather, gather, gather. Um, it would be best not to gather. Um, and then as always, the bib is removable. So this is a very, very multifunctional piece. I can just wear the skirt. I can wear it with the bib. Um, I guess I could switch bibs from different pieces to each other, but I don't know why I would do that. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with this piece, and I learned about pile. Um, I didn't have problems ironing it, though, so that was at least nice. Uh, you also usually need special ironing stuff for velvets. Oh, I think I'm to my last piece already. Um, yeah, so this is the last piece. Uh, this is so cute. I did also make a peasant top out of this, but I can't find the peasant top for the life of me. But this is a really cute... Uh, it's not Swiss dot, because it's not, like poofy feeling dot but it is it has like tiny little polka dots printed on it i really love it has like a peasant-y top and then it comes and cuts underneath and has these buttons um and i think these buttons are also really darling they're little flowers so i'm super proud of this guy uh, i think it looks really great i'm gonna steal the sleeves for this from for other pieces i'll probably in the future do it with elastic just so i have a little bit more flexibility um but super full skirt and it's a little bit sheer, which I do love in a dress, so I wear this with a nude slip. And I love, it has like the little bow, it has the little loops, I don't know, I just think this dress is so, so dreamy, and I'm really, really proud of it. So, yeah. Um, but, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching, um, and definitely stick around if you enjoy this type of content. I've been trying to put out more sewing content, and I actually wanted to show you guys this round, because I'm going to participate, and I believe it's pink... Mimosa, she is doing a 30 yard fabric challenge without buying new fabric. And so I'm joining on that. And so obviously I am motivated to sew through 30 yards as quick as possible. Um, I am starting on this on mid July. So definitely stay tuned for more sewing content because I should be busting out a ton of pieces from her challenge and I'm super excited about it. If you enjoyed this video, definitely stick around and subscribe. I would love to have you around. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers this year. It feels really doable, um, but I need all of y'all's help. Right now, my channel is primarily like thrift, travel, sewing, vintage. It is all like at its base vintage and antique themed. And yeah, I do basically sewing, thrifting, whatever, stuff like that. So if that sounds really good to you, definitely hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time. Bye.